Welcome to the online presentation of the Casselberry Connected Learning Project Student and Parent Orientation. My name is Wanda Mitchell. I'm the principal at Reach High School and I will be your presenter today. I'm also the campus coordinator for the Connected Learning Project, which provides a netbook for each student. In addition, I would like to mention several of the members of the technology department for Cassabury that are also directly related to the Connected Learning Project. Renee Smith Faulkner is the Assistant Superintendent of Technology Services. She has been the Director of our Assistant Superintendent of Technology Services for 14 years. Her vision for technology has led our district to have model technology campuses. This year, Stephanie Martinez has joined the technology department and will be the technology coach at the high school. She will work with students and teachers as they continue to integrate the use of netbooks into the curriculum for each class. Eric Eads is a campus netbook technical support. He will be the first to help students and teachers resolve any issues or repairs with the netbook. If you Google, why do students need netbooks at school, you will get a list of many articles on why student netbooks enhance the learning environment. On this slide, you see one example. This article from USA Today quotes Mark Hess, the principal of Sarah Banks Middle School in Waxham, Michigan, as saying, we would never send our own kids to pediatricians that were practicing medicine from the 70s and 80s. Why would we send our kids to schools that are practicing instructional techniques that are decades old? If we did that, it would be educational malpractice. Another article from Inside Higher Education states that after issuing laptops to students, principals saw improved grades test scores, a boost in critical thinking skills, and an increase in student collaboration. Renee Smith Faulkner, the Assistant Superintendent of Technology Services states, the Castleberry Connected Learning Project will provide students with the mobile connectivity to limitless information that enables them to become self-empowered learners. The district has purchased Acer netbooks for this project. Each netbook comes with a power cord and a netbook bag. The netbooks are imaged with Windows 7. Each have an integrated webcam along with Skype software for collaboration. Office 2013 application software, including OneNote, Adobe Creative Cloud applications, a variety of internet browsers, including Safari, Internet Explorer, and Firefox, and a wireless card so that students can connect to the CISD network, a Wi-Fi connection at home, or any other Wi-Fi hotspot. The students will be able to check out ebooks from the Castleberry High School Library and read those on their netbook. Each student will be given a gaggle login so they access online classrooms and their school email account. Synchronization of My Documents allows for access to documents saved on school server when away from school. There are two common reasons that a netbook will not connect to a wireless network. First of all, the wireless card could be turned off. Another reason could possibly be that a local policy on the CISD network has not updated. To reconnect, it is best to completely restart your netbook so that it powers all the way down and then restarts. If that does not solve the problem, then you will need to connect the netbook to the teacher's data cord and then restart the computer and log in. This will update any local policies on the netbook. As part of the Connected Learning Project, there are some terms that must be met in order for a student to be issued a netbook. First, Students and parents must participate in the netbook orientation either at one of the designated meetings or by watching this online presentation. A $30 non-refundable deposit must be paid to Ms. Dillon. If a payment of the $30 deposit is an issue, please contact me and if all requirements are met, a payment plan will be created for you. All students must comply with the responsible use policy for Casselberry ISD as well as the student code of conduct. 
If any netbooks are damaged, lost, or stolen, fines and fees will be assessed. A list of these fines will follow. Notice that if a netbook is stolen, parents must provide a police report to me, Ms. Mitchell, and then a $50 deductible will be assessed and must be paid in full to receive another netbook. Along with being issued a netbook comes the responsibility of being a good digital citizen. When students use their netbooks at school, they should be used for identified educational purposes. Although the netbooks do include Skype and messaging tools, these tools are to be used to enhance the learning environment and used appropriately during instructional time. Inappropriate use could forfeit the privilege of utilizing the netbook. There will be several netbook inspections throughout the school year. If there are any missing components, students will be required to replace those if they have been lost. Students with any damages will be subject to the fines listed in the Student Netbook Handbook. Intentional damage to the netbook will be required to pay the full amount for the repair. Here is the list of fines. This list is found on page 9 of the Student Netbook Handbook. Missing keys or broken keyboard, $10. Lost, damaged netbook bag, $25. Lost damaged power cord, $15. Re-image or reconfigure netbook, $25. Broken lid case, $50. Cracked or damaged screen, $65. Damaged battery, $75. Full netbook replacement, $300. Every student netbook is imaged with light speed filtering software. This software will filter internet use at school and at home. Teachers may find internet sites that are useful and appropriate for lessons in their classroom that are being blocked. Teachers can request that these websites be unblocked for student use. Students are prohibited to use a proxy to bypass the filtering that is in place. Doing so will result in a referral to the office and the consequences listed in the student code of conduct will be followed, including suspension of login account and our retrieval of netbook. The Lightspeed filtering software allows the district to monitor internet usage through the student logins on their computer. If there is suspicion of inappropriate internet use, a log can be printed out of all the sites a student has visited. In order to stay in compliance with the Child Internet Protection Act, school districts must provide this filtering to help protect students from being able to access inappropriate websites. Casabury is SIPA compliant. There are several items that students are responsible for. Students must bring their netbook every day to school and must be carried in the netbook bag provided. All labels on the netbook, bag, and power cord must stay affixed. Students must not loan their netbooks or components to anyone. Student must bring their netbooks with the battery charged. Teachers will have an extension cord in the classroom that can be used if a battery happens to go dead toward the end of the day. Netbooks and power cords are each assigned by a serial number. When netbooks are returned at the end of the school year, serial numbers will be checked. Report missing netbooks or components to me, Ms. Mitchell, immediately. If the netbook is stolen, a police report must be provided by the parent to document evidence of theft. If the netbook is deemed intentionally damaged, the student is responsible for the cost of the repair or replacement. Students must clear fines in the office with Ms. Dillon within 30 days. Each student is issued an email account through Gaggle. Students are not allowed to use personal email accounts while at school. Students are only permitted to use their Gaggle email account while at school. The Gaggle email account can also be accessed from home as well. 
This email account is filtered to prevent inappropriate content from being sent. Parents also have some responsibilities in this project. Parents must participate in the netbook orientation and agree to the terms in order for a student to be issued a netbook. Parents are also responsible for monitoring student use of the netbook at home. If a netbook is stolen, the parent is required to obtain a police report and bring that police report to me, Ms. Mitchell. If the netbook is documented as stolen, then the student will only be charged a $50 deductible instead of the full cost of the netbook. On the CISD website, there is a link to the Connected Learning page. You can obtain a copy of the Student Netbook Handbook and a list of frequently asked questions. To access this website, go to the CISD webpage and under the student link on the menu list, click on Connected Learning. On the Connected Learning website, you can download a copy of the Student Netbook Handbook and also a copy of the signature page on the back of the handbook. Both the student and the parent must sign the signature page upon completing this presentation. The form should be returned to the main office at Reach High School. The $30 non-refundable deposit should be paid to Ms. Dillon in the main office. If you have any questions, please email me and I will get the answers for you. Remember to sign and return the signature page on the handbook as well as pay the $30 non-refundable deposit so that your child can be issued their netbook for the school year. Thank you for watching this presentation about the Connected Learning Project.